Allah created us to worship Him. The only way we could worship Allah is by knowing who Allah is. And so Allah informed us that He created us and everything in the universe and set the qadr into motion and sent revelation to the prophets and the messengers so that we can know Him. And the last verse in Surah Al-Talaq where Allah tabarak wa ta'ala He said, Allah ladhi khalaqa sab'a samawatin wa min al-ardi mithlahunna yatanazzalu al-amru baynahunna li ta'lamu. That is Allah who created the seven heavens, the lights of that from the earth, and the amr of Allah, the command of Allah, meaning what happens in the, from the qadr of Allah and the revelation that was sent by Allah, descends between the heavens and the earth, He has done all of that. He created the entire universe, He revealed the revelations of the prophets and the messengers, He set the qadr into motion. Why? لِتَعْلَمُوا So that you can all know what? لِتَعْلَمُوا and Allah عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ that Allah has power over all things, and Allah قَدْ أَحَاطَ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ عِلْمَ That Allah encompasses all things in knowledge. So in the verse in Surah Al-Dhariyat, Allah informed us that He created us so that we could worship Him. In the verse in Surah Al-Talaq, Allah informed us that He created us so that we could know Him through His names and His attributes, Tabarak wa Ta'ala. And so Allah created us to worship Him and to know Him. وَمَحَبَّتُهُ What comes as a result of knowing Allah? مَحَبَّتُهُ That we love Him. Allah created us to worship Him, to know Him, so that we can love Him. وَالْإِنَابَةُ إِلَيْهِ عَلَى الدَّوَامِ And so that we can constantly turn to Allah عَلَى الدَّوَامِ At all times. Everything that happens, when we look at the concept of inaba in the Qur'an, of turning to Allah in the Qur'an, Ibn Qayyim he explains in his book, uh, uh, Tariq al-Hijratayn, he explains, Rahimullah Ta'ala, when we look at the verses that mention inaba, and the munib, the person who is one who turns to Allah in the Qur'an. Then Allah mentions it as regards when Allah blesses His servants that they turn to Him with gratitude. When Allah tests His servants and they turn to Him with patience. And when the person commits sin and disobedience that they turn to Allah with istighfar and tawbah. Right? With istighfar and tawbah. 